The race underway then. And the power goes on. Oh, Jeremy Powell's almost hit the barriers there on the right-hand side as he was closed in there on by the rest of the riders. That was very, very close. And the sprint is absolutely flat out. Lawrence Sveek, shoulder to shoulder with uh, Wout Van Aert. Tom Mayhusen just behind him. Had a good chat to Mayhusen before the start. Uh, I think he's starting to look pretty good. He said this course doesn't suit him. It's not going to suit his uh, specialities. He said he's obviously had, because of last season, mentally very, very tough time. And Vermeesh riding very comfortably as Mathieu van der Poel now goes to the front to try and stretch the race a little bit. Looking really, really strong now as he pedals towards the line to complete lap number one. Eight minutes and uh, 31 seconds for the entire lap, uh, including the run-in. And 8.11, 22.36 kilometers an hour, 8.11 for the opening lap itself. That's very, very impressive. As Van der Poel shows us just how technically Incredibly he is on some of these corners. He just leans the bike right over, takes the foot out, skids it round. Oh, ho, ho. and that was how not quite to do it. Well, Van Aert right on the limit. Van der Poel just lifting those knees, kicking on very well indeed. And now wow, Van Aert is starting to open up a bit of an advantage on the rest of the field. Van der Poel wearing the rainbow bands as the uh, world champion. Can he hold on to them, get back-to-back -back victories in, uh, in world championships? That would be very, very impressive. Three laps of racing to go as he crosses the line. An 8.24 lap that time. Wout well, Van Aert is not a long, long way behind right now. So Van der Poel's got to keep the pressure on. Last lap then, and the gap is uh, 58 seconds now to uh, Van Aert, and it's 104 to Kevin Powles. Into the finishing straight for the world champion. One week from the world championships in Holsten Zolder next weekend. He is riding his way into yet another World Cup victory. This man is right on top of his game. He wins the World Cup here in Orgeheide on his local course. Mathieu van der Poel, four wins out of four. So Van der Poel should stay behind Kevin Powell's in terms of the overall standing, actually, if we work it out. But Wout Van Aert races to the line, crosses the line now, and he will be the winner of the World Cup. But I was, uh, it was a very diff difficult race today, very tough, but I'm happy because like some other riders, I did a very intensive training week and um, I'm satisfied with the recovery I did uh, until now. Mathieu van der Poel, the winner here. Sets himself up perfectly for the world. As we now look at the podium presentation of the top three in the World Cup. Kevin Powell's in third place. Lars van der Haar will take second place, the European champion. And the winner is uh, Wout van Aert, the Belgian champion, now the World Cup winner. So, thank you to all of you who've joined us for all the rounds of racing.